So as my journey through filmmaking has evolved over the years, one of the most sought after elements that I've tried to implement into my content lately is the concept of film emulation. Now there's a lot of plugins and software out there that offer this, but one that's been making waves for about a year or so now is one that's hit the scene called Dehancer Pro. So in this video, we're gonna get into my overall thoughts and a review of the software plugin, as well as if I think it's worth the investment in 2024. But before we get into that, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is DaVinci HD, where we talk about gear, tips, and everything that comes to filmmaking and cinema. And if you like this video and you wanna see more content from me, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. It really helps me keep putting out content for you guys like this. So full disclaimer, before we get into this review, the representatives over at Dehancer were generous enough to provide me with a license in order to test out this software plugin and be able to do a review for you guys. However, no money exchanged hands and everything that I say will be my full authentic thoughts and opinions on this plugin. So Dehancer Pro is a film emulation plugin that's designed to take your digital footage and give it a film stock look. It gives a converted film-like quality to your projects, enabling you to enhance your color grade and give you that cinematic look. Dehancer Pro offers over 60 film stocks and is available for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Adobe Premiere Pro. It features a user-friendly interface, allowing for customization with a plethora of sliders in order for you to dial in the exact look of the effect that you want to use. So some of the pros to get into about this plugin is this ease of use. You can toggle effects on and off with pretty much a click of a button. If you don't want something, you can pretty much enable it or disable it. The customization options are very detailed. It allows you to really fine tune the look and effect that you want for whatever film stock or film print that you choose. So when you first put it in, you're actually able to dial in which camera you actually filmed with, what picture profile that you filmed in. They have a whole list of camera bodies to choose from as well as drones, which I didn't really expect to have. But if you have a camera that isn't on that list, you can just put it to the Rec 709 and then you can just go from there. You're able to add a plethora of things like film print, film stocks, as well as film grain, elation, blooming. It has things like gate weave, film compression. It has a vignette feature if you want to use that. It has a coloring feature where you can really dial in the colors of what you're doing. It even has a LUT generator where you can take a look that you develop and fine tune and generate a LUT for that exact look so you can go back and use it later. Future me here guys, I almost forgot to mention if you guys are looking to purchase this plugin, you can get 10% off on Dehancer Pro on their website if you use my promo code DaVinci24. So if you like what you see from this plugin and you think it works for you, head on over to Dehancer Pro, use my promo code DaVinci24 and get 10% off on your purchase. It does not apply to the iOS app though, so do keep that in mind. Back to the video. So my particular workflow for this plugin was within Final Cut Pro, and I used this plugin on a multitude of footage from Sony footage to Panasonic footage, as well as some wedding footage that I was able to capture. And I have to say for personal use case and workflow, this plugin is very, very, very good. Now I've been in filmmaking for a long time, but I'm by no means a colorist. So to have a plugin that can really assist you with your color grading, let alone giving you that film emulated stock look, is just something that is very, very valued in my workflow and use case. Especially since Final Cut Pro really doesn't offer any type of native plugin to really give you that type of film emulation look. Now with that being said, this plugin is not without its cons and its drawbacks and we're gonna get into some of those right now. So one of the first things that's kind of a little quirky when you first put in the plugin on your footage, it really gives it this kind of bluish look that you really have to dial back as soon as you put the plugin on your footage. Another thing that's kind of a drawback which may just be me nitpicking a little bit is that the menu system, even though it is easy to use, it can be a little bit overwhelming when you first look at it um, you have to scroll through a lot and if you don't hide some of your tabs you're going to be doing a lot of scrolling to get back and forth to what you really want to change another thing that's kind of a drawback for me is there is some playback performance issues when the film grain is activated or enabled i simply just uh disabled that and then it was able to play back just fine but other than that uh that's kind of one of the only playback issues i really had with the plugin when i was using it I think another drawback that was a really big disappointment for me personally was the LUT generator didn't work for me on Final Cut Pro when I tried to use it. 
Now I'm on a uh, M1 Mac Mini, Apple Silicon, so it should be working pretty fine. It shouldn't have any issues with that. I haven't had any communication with the team over at Behancer to really figure that out. So I did send a report over to Apple. It could just be something with my operating system. It's no way to tell right now but I will keep an eye on that as I go along. So just keep, an, just keep an eye out for that. I haven't seen too many other Final Cut users run into that issue, but for me, when I tried to use the LUT generator, it did not work. Other than those couple of drawbacks, honestly, this has really been a workhorse for me with a lot of my footage, and it's really given me that look that I'm looking for to kind of make myself stand out from other videographers in my area and in the space as far as what I film, either for weddings, music videos, or even short form narrative content or the feature film that I'm gonna be filming here in this summer. So having a plugin like this really helps me to achieve the look that I'm trying to get. So we're gonna talk about price. Right now, the Dehancer Pro plugin sits at a price point at about $449, which I'm not gonna lie, is pretty, pretty high of a price point for what you're trying to get. However, it is worth it depending on which software you use to do your editing on, and I'm gonna get into that right now. So I would say if you're a DaVinci Resolve user, this isn't necessarily a plugin that you wanna spend this so much on because a lot of the things that it offers as far as functionality, you really get that with DaVinci Resolve out of the box. Now, like I said, I'm not a DaVinci Resolve user, but however, if you're someone who really enjoys editing on DaVinci, they do have a light version of this plugin to where you can really try to implement and try to add that with your DaVinci footage and see if that's kind of a better alternative for you. However, if you do get the live version, it is important to note that you will be missing some of the film stocks and film print functions that the Pro version has. Now, if you are a Premiere or Final Cut Pro user, I have to say that this plugin would just about be worth it. My only opinion, and I'm just being honest here, I would like to see the price point for this plugin come down just a just a hundred dollars or so maybe and i'm not saying that to say that this plugin isn't good matter of fact if you're a final cut pro user this is probably the best plugin that you can get to assist you as far as color grading is concerned if you're someone like me who is by no means a colorist so my overall thoughts this is definitely 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 a valuable plugin to use in 2024 for your workflow especially if you're someone who's looking for that film stock cinematic look it's not without its drawbacks and hopefully Dehancer can kind of give some firmware updates and really get this to where it needs to be. And hopefully down the line, we can get it down to a price point that's a little bit more within reach. They do have a couple subscription models that you can try out. So if you're not necessarily ready to invest the whole 449 right up front, you can try those out and really see if it works for you before you just invest the full amount. And finally, it is worth mentioning that Dehancer does offer an iOS plugin for iPhone users. It offers some of the same features and some of the same film presets and stocks with just a little bit more mobile usability. I won't get into my thoughts of this app just simply because I don't want to take away from the actual software plugin that we're talking about today, but it is worth mentioning that it's there. And if you want to get into that, it sits at a price point a little bit below what the software plugin actually sits at. And if you haven't noticed throughout the video, you've also seen this shot with the plugin enabled. Really just did a makeshift video to kind of give you guys my thoughts on the plugin. Definitely valuable if you've got the money, definitely look into it. But that's about it, I'm gonna wrap it up for the day. I appreciate you guys for making it this far. And if you found anything in this video helpful, I definitely appreciate you. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's been another one from your boy DaVinci HD reminding you the only reason you haven't put out that piece of art that you wanna put out is because you haven't pressed record. I'll see you guys on set, peace out.